Hello everyone, welcome back to the Kukuli Bushcraft channel. Okay, so I've got a quick knife review for you today. This is mostly aimed at my subscribers back in the UK because I'm not sure as if this little knife is available anywhere else. Uh, it's the Anglo Arms UK Legal Slip Joint Folding Knife. So, non-locking, less than three inches, uh, making it legal. So it's uh, about 65 millimeters. So that's round about two and a half inches. Uh, the handle, also quite short. That's about 80 mil. So, uh, yeah, that's just over three inches. So you can just about fit three fingers in there. So it's not an uncomfortable grip. Uh, so feathers wood perfectly fine. Will it strike a ferro rod? No problem. Uh, I see a lot of people with knives like knives like this striking a ferro rod like that. I don't think there's any point. I think it's maybe a little bit dangerous. I think it's much better, much better to keep it closed. Still works great. Okay, so what else can I say about this? The the scales are. Uh, some kind of a plasticky wo imitation wood, you know. But yeah, who cares about that with the price of this? This cost me two pound fifty. It was on offer in uh, Black Friday, I think. Uh, but bought a few things in Black Friday and the January sales, and I'm reviewing them now because I've had time to use them a little bit. Uh, this thing came quite sharp. It has been sharpened since, and. Uh, Edge retention seems to be reasonable. So it's really quite a quite a handy little thing to have. So it retails at five pounds. I think I said I bought it for two pound fifty, so five pounds would be about about five and a half euros, round about six US dollars. Uh, there's a little bit of a chip there where the pin is. There's uh, two brass pins and a little, a little lanyard hole there. Uh, yeah, so for the price, handy thing to have in your pocket. You know, working around the farm, cutting pieces of string, opening boxes, whatever you want to do with a with a folding knife, and uh, it does work as a backup bushcraft knife. Yeah, you, know, you can put this in your kits and whatever. Obviously, you're not going to be doing any and any really heavy work with it, but you know, for for feather sticks, for you know, like using a ferro rod, it works fine. Uh, I've seen this brand around a lot, Anglo Arms, and they're very very cheap. They also do make fixed blade knives, but uh, for the price, you can get something like this as well, and. Uh, it's got a Scandi grind. You know, this Poulter's Force, more or, more or less exactly the same thing. And uh, I trust the steel of Poulter's Force and more, uh, a lot more than I trust the uh, the, the cheap 440 of, uh, of these Anglo Arms knives. Saying that, saying that, the edge retention on this does seem to be quite reasonable. Uh, with the Anglo Arms fixed blades, you do get a full tang. So in theory, in theory, they should be a lot stronger. But I think that these knives are actually pretty strong. I think that the the plastic adds quite a bit to the strength of the uh, of the tang. Uh, so I give these work these knives a lot of hammer at work every day, and they don't let me down. Uh, I wouldn't really want to be doing any heavy battening either with any rat tail tang or or any cheap steel but yeah for the price nice little knife and i believe at the moment they're on offer at springfields again not quite as cheap as i got this for but worth looking at 
Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all again soon for another Cooperly Bushcraft video. Oh, by the way, I apologise for the for the state of my hands. I've been working. <laughs>